What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladman coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I've got an Apaka box. I didn't do the last one because I was in the hotel room and I just didn't get around to it. Uh, this is December. Uh, Apaka box is $60 a month. Uh, it's it's an okay subscription if you're looking for bushcraft stuff or be doing stuff with your hands or doing a skills thing you know a pocket box is pretty cool um I, you know um i haven't been too t totally disappointed with them uh some of their stuff is kind of cheesy but a lot of stuff is real usable you know um so like I said, this is December. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I'm using my Spyderco Amalgam. This is my absolute favorite Spyderco that I own. Uh, got the compression lock on it. It's, it's awesome. But let's see what we got in, in a pocket box for December. All right. So this is the the guide that tells everything. That's Creek Stewart. I guess that's his family. Merry Christmas. Oh well, it's handwritten. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Creek Stewart. He's the guy that owns a pocket box. He's a uh, a bushcraft guide and stuff like that so that's him and that's pretty cool being that that's a uh, a uh, handwritten and everything so I'm going to set this off to the side and let's just open this up and see what we got the Master Meyer Forest Knight let's see. No, that's not it. Let's see. Let's got a knife in Master Meyer knife. Okay. Every Viking woodworker needed a good knife. We've used the illustration of the knife remnant found in the Master Meyer chest to recreate a new version of that knife just for you this is an exclusive build for a pocket box members only whether you're using the master Meyer forest knife to work wood around camp or for daily chores to and fro the custom bone kydex sheath will keep it safe safely by your side we've custom stamped each knife with a new creek logo So, oh, so this is one of those, uh, skills thing. I guess you take the paracord here, and wrap it around the, uh, the handle here, make your own handle. Boy, that's kind of crude, but there's the emblem he's talking about. Master Meyer. It's already kind of rusting. So it's a high carbon steel. It is rusting. Let's see if it's sharp. Pull out a piece of paper here. Well, okay. I didn't expect it to be like that. How's it? I mean, that's actually not too bad.
that's not a bad little edge on that. <coughs> I'm not, I'm never mad at getting a knife, you know. Uh, but it definitely needs to be oiled up and everything. That's okay, you know. It's not a bad looking blade. Kind of like a Warncliffe style blade. But as you can see, it's it's already rusting, so I'm going to have to take care of that like ASAP so it don't finish rusting. But that's okay. I'm not mad at that. See, I mean, you know, there's there's some uh, pretty good stuff comes in a pocket box sometimes. So the next thing on the list is a Master Meyer Hand Forged Camp Trivet. This hand forged trivet is exactly like the ones used in, by the Vikings. Scoop hot coals underneath the brew tea. Okay, that, that would be it. Scoop hot coals underneath the brew tea, baked bread, Warm sandwiches, toast bread, cook, stews, or even grill steaks. It's the perfect camp kitchen accessory for cooking low and slow. So it comes in this burlap sack, which is kind of cool, but holy crap. All the fibers are stuck to it from the burlap sack. So that's a, that's a trivet. What you do is you set that down in your on the ground and you scoop coals under here and you put your skillet or whatever you you're cooking on on top of here and you you don't have it in direct coals or or flame or whatever that'll be useful for uh the truck camping and stuff we're doing uh me and the wife we're having fun doing that stuff too so all right so the next thing on the list is the scandinavian kuksa scoop the kuksa is a traditional scanning scandinavian card wooden cup made from the burl of a birch tree enclosed in your pocket box is a mini version for scooping flour coffee or for using as a soup spoon. It's the perfect additional additional to any bushcraft kitchen set. So looks like this is it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I I dig that. I don't see that being a spoon though. I mean, golly, that's a that's a deep old spoon. That is cool as crap. And I guarantee you, my wife is taking that as soon as she sees it. She's gonna dig that little thing. See, pocket box is pretty cool. They got some cool stuff. The next thing on the list is the pocket field guide, the Quincy, the Quincy, all right. Winter is coming and snow is likely on the way. At least in many parts of the world, this step-by-step -step tutorial is written by survival instructor Aaron Hutch Hutchings, who hails from Colorado's rugged and snowy Rocky Mountains. In this guide, Hutch covers every detail of how to build an Athabascan style snow shelter called a Quincy. <coughs> it's an incredible look into the world of survival snow shelters. Look about what Hutch has to offer. And you can go to uh, www ready set adventure box dot com so the Quincy it looks kind of like a uh, almost kind of like a igloo 
a little bit. But it breaks it down what you need, how to build it, how to build different kinds. You know, these these little pocket field guides, they're pretty pretty in depth from Creek. Uh they're pretty neat. I've got a little little collection started already. <coughs> Excuse me. So next thing on the list is Ultimate Survival Tips Tiny First Aid Guide. And it's a tiny first aid guide. This thing is little. <laughs> and it is it is pretty pretty little. Alright, this cool little first aid guide is written by my friends over at Ultimate Survival Tips dot com. Inside you will find 51 illustrations, 110 life-saving first aid skills, 167 expert emergency tips, 24 bonus online training resources, 10 deadly mistakes you must avoid, 5 mental tips to conquer crisis, 19 essential ta tactics first responders use, 4 pillars of readiness, Keep the tiny first aid guide on you at all times. Study before an emergency medic a medical emergency. Pull it out as quick as ref as a quick reference when you are suddenly caught in an unexpected emergency or disaster situation. It's like a life insurance policy in your pocket. Well, I don't know about a life insurance policy, but you know, any kind of information about how to survive during an emergency situation. I mean, you know, um, that's pretty good to have. You may know 90% of what's in that, but there might be 10% that you don't know. So, I mean, any information is good information most of the time. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, the next thing on the list is a pocket box hacky sack. Now, I don't know if I'll be using this, but it's got the Apoca box logo on it. Little hacky sack. You can feel the beans inside. I guess Creek likes to play hacky. That's funny. I can't play that now. I'm too old. My knees and everything are shot. A good game of hacky sack is my favorite camp game of all time. Well, okay. It's the perfect way to wind down from a long day of hiking or working around camp. The most common game of hacky sack consists of two or more players standing in a circle and trying to keep the sack off the ground for as long as possible using only their feet to kick the bean bag. For an easier game of hacky sack, allow per participants to use their hands. Well, you know, hacky sack is what hacky sack is. I mean, uh, hacky sack's been around since I was a kid. So, you know, it's, it, it's an old game, you know. I just, I never got into it. You know, if you're a soccer player, you'd probably like doing that. You know, just kicking it around with your foot. I guarantee you a soccer player would be good at that. But anyway, uh, next thing on the list is Imperial Shrade Rescue Knife. Alright. So, that is an Imperial Shrade Rescue Knife. It's all red and everything. It's got a lock back. Not long ago, I witnessed a car explode into flames on the side of the expressway. It made me think about important tools everyone should have at the ready inside of their vehicles just in case. A rescue knife like this one is always a good idea. Popular amongst first responders, the scalloped edge rescue knife, this scalloped edge rescue knife is perfect tool for cutting through thick seat belts airbags and clothing 
The round tip helps to prevent injury while cutting. Well, I guess that's okay. Uh, like I said, it's a knife and, you know, I'm not going to complain about a knife unless it's just a really bad one. But, I hate blister packs. Worst I've ever been cut was by a blister pack. I know I keep saying that every time I open one, but it just, oof. So, it has got these little serrated edges on it. Feels like a plastic composite handle. The blade can't see no 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 steel composition stamped on it anywhere I mean okay well it's definitely not meant for fine skills that's fine I get it you know it's meant for cutting seat belts and stuff like that it does have a looks like it has a safety tip on it um, I don't know that I would ever need something like this or I hope I wouldn't because I always carry a pocket knife in my pocket so um, I don't see me packing this one I mean it might be good for sticking in the car or something you know just having my wife's car so she has something in there uh, but she packs a knife too so you know this is okay I'm, I'm not mad at it it's a tool uh, I'm never mad at tools so that's okay all right So soapstone make soapstone marker and steel holder. Uh, okay. So the soapstone marker. What you use these for is it's a soapstone. You can write on anything, just about. Um, see, you can. Well, I'm trying to write in the camera. Sorry. So, a soapstone is for writing on just about anything. They're, they're awesome to have. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not mad at getting one of these. I used to have one a long time ago, but it broke. Um, somebody was using it, and they extended it out more than what it needed to be, and they dropped it, and it broke, and it's just one of them things, you know. Don't like letting people use my stuff, but there it is. I got another one. Yay! Soapstone is a metamorphic rock composed largely of a magnesium rich material, mineral talc. First peoples used soapstone in a variety of ways, including carving figurines and amulets, making fat burning, fat burning lamps, a and more. If you know the soapstone makes a fantastic all conditioned survival marking tool, whether marking on wood for cutting or and carving or writing survival messages on stone or windshields, soapstone is a water and heat resistant. It will mark on almost anything and here's the best soapstone secret of all. Soapstones make the perfect lubricant for bow drill bearing 
Oh, bow drill bearing block divots. Apply some to your next bearing block for a nearly frictionless drill. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, so. One last thing is the survival challenge. So, all natural black walnut husk die kit. So, black walnuts. I got a black walnut tree in my backyard. I don't think I needed any of those, but, you know, I get it. Comes in the kit. So what is this? Uh, I've been infatuated with natural dyes for many years. I'm ex excited to partner with Boone Slick Leather. Okay, Boone Slick Leather to bring you a one-of-a-kind natural walnut dye project kit. Included in your kit is all of the materials and instructions you need to dye your new flower sack towel. Using nothing but water and black, natural black walnut husk. The enclosed flower sack towel has hundreds of survival uses. Bandana, camp rag, pot holder, and more. Walnut dye is not only a great natural fabric dye but it can be used to treat and preserve wood and as an emergency writing ink share photos well it can be emergency writing ink share photos of your dyed flower sack tool towel on social media and tag hashtag pocketbox well huh that's cool. So I don't know what I'd use it for, but apparently it's a towel. If I can get it open. Well, all right then. So it's just a, it's like a pillowcase sized towel made in India. At least it was made in China. Uh, so, huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to dye it. I don't know when between working and going to school and all that good jazz uh, it's kind of kind of hard to do anything right now and having to like move back in the house everything that I've had to go through this past month uh, yeah, you know, it's just one of them things that I just don't know when I'll be able to get to it, so. But there's a pocket box for December of 2021. It's a pretty good box. I'm not complaining about it. Got a pretty cool survival skill challenge. I don't know that how that'd help you in a survival skill, how to dye cloth, but cool. I like the soapstone for sure. I definitely like the soapstone. That I'm glad to have another one since mine broke. The pocket field guide, they always work pretty good or they you know, they seem to be written pretty well. Uh dig the little Viking Scandinavian spoon, uh scoop, whatever you wanna call it. Uh 
that's pr definitely really neat first aid guide you know well it is what it is the trivet glad to have that that's going to come in handy especially since we're camping more and uh the the knife knife ain't bad you know i'm not going to bash the knife that much um just need to get something on here to stop this rust for sure get some oil on here and then wrap this cord around the handle and we should be good to go that'd be uh all right so tell me what y'all think about december oh and the seat belt knife thingy um that's all right i guess so y'all let me know what you think about december apocalypse box y'all think it's worth 60 you know with the skills test and all that stuff i mean i don't know it may be it may not be let me know what y'all think do me a favor though if you like this video like share subscribe means the world to me but it only takes a second for you uh, i appreciate every one of you that watch i appreciate every one of you that subscribe absolutely and uh you know i hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season uh, be safe have fun spend time with the family hope you get everything y'all wish for all year and uh yeah, well, I guess I'll talk to you all later. Uh, I hope y'all have a good one. And we'll see you next time.